In this tutorial, we're going to explain why is any number to the zero power equal to one? Well, to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a series of numbers here, and I'm just going to choose a random number. I'm just going to choose five, and I'm going to set it equal to a power. I'm going to start with the power of four, and then I'm going to decrease the power by one and write five to the power of three, five to the power of two, five to the first power, and five to the zero power. Now, if we write five to the fourth power in expanded form and solve, that is gonna give us a value of 625. And if we take five to the third power and multiply those fives together, that would give us 125. Now, right away, here's what we should notice. As we decrease the power by one, meaning we multiplied by five one less time, we started with 625, but then we had something that was five times smaller, and that's because we had one less five. So what happens when we decrease each power by a power of one, notice that the answer got five times smaller, which means if I go from five to the third power to five to the second power, 125 will also get five times smaller and 125 divided by 5 is 25. So we can say that 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So 5 to the second power is 5 times smaller than 5 to the third power, which means 5 to the first power will be 5 times smaller than 5 to the second power, which of course is correct. 5 to the first power is equal to 5. And of course, we're going from 5 to the first power now to 5 to the 0 power. So that means 5 is going to get 5 times smaller, and 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Now, this pattern continues even if we go 1 power smaller. So we're going to write 5 to the negative first power. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the previous power, which is 5 to the 0 power, equal to 1, and divide that by 5. And 1 divided by 5 is 1 fifth. We can just leave that in its fractional form. And then if we solve 5 to the negative second power, that's going to be the previous power, 5 to the negative first power, divided by 5. So we're going to make 1 fifth 5 times smaller, and that would give us 1 over 25. And you can try this with any number, and you're going to notice that the pattern is going to hold true no matter what you use for the base. So basically, anything to the zero power is really just another way to say it is that number divided by itself. So if we had, say, 6 to the zero power, which equals 1, it is just another way to say 6 divided by 6, or 7 to the zero power is the same thing as saying 7 divided by 7, and so on. And that's just a quick explanation as to why any number to the zero power will always be equal to 1. 